It's time to plan the office Christmas party and we need to advise the restaurant where the party is being held, how many people are having turkey, how many are having chicken and how many are having risotto. And we need to do the same for the desserts. Now one way to do this is to use the COUNTIF function and in this example there'll be a COUNTIF functions in F2, F3 and F4. Each one will count the number of times the word to the left in column E appears in the range B2 to B13. Now the COUNTIF function requires two arguments. The first argument is the criteria range which is the cells that contain the given value and in this spreadsheet we need to count the number of times the word turkey occurs in the range B2 to B13 and therefore B2 to B13 is the criteria range. The second argument is the criteria itself which can be a number, a word, a date or more usually a cell reference. So it could be the word turkey but in this case because the word turkey is in E2 it makes more sense to use the cell reference. So in our spreadsheet in F2 we put COUNTIF B2 to B13 E2 which tells Excel to count how many times the word turkey which is in E2 occurs in the range B2 to B13. We need similar functions in F3 and F4 and also functions to calculate the number of desserts ordered. We also need to know how many people have not ordered a main course and the count blank function in F5 counts the number of empty cells in the range B2 to B13. We also need to know how many people have not ordered a dessert and the count blank function in F12 counts the number of empty cells in the range C2 to C13. And that concludes our look at the COUNTIF and COUNT BLANK functions.